Howdy all, uh, I'm just uh, taking a drive in wonderful winter of Canada. I just wanted to take a couple minutes and talk about a concept um, around managing millennials. Uh, Simon Sinek just had a cool interview, it's been uh, on Facebook and uh, YouTube uh, around this concept and uh, he kind of referenced a couple of ideas, one of them being the uh, environment that the new generation, we are referencing millennials in this case, um, are, are in when it comes to work and the kind of you know environment and society they were in when they grew up and kind of why things are the way they are and a lot of times we hear people uh, labeling this generation as um, entitled, lazy, maybe uh, disloyal and there's a uh, narcissistic and I wanted to just uh, talk a little bit about uh, kind of a take on what Simon Sinek was saying with regard to uh, how we can manage uh, this generation when it comes to the workplace. So um, I run a marketing company and we happen to have a ton of millennials that we work with. And I gotta tell you, none of them are lazy, none of them are disloyal, they're amazing people. And I didn't realize it because we started the company 10 years ago, I'm 33 years old, uh, so it was 23 when I started it. I uh, didn't really, I haven't had a chance to be in any other corporate environments in a leadership role. I did have an opportunity though to work in lots of different roles before I was uh, started in injury media. Um, but one of the things that's come to light in terms of the way we do things was a big takeaway we had from a video that Robin Sharma posted uh, back in 2008, 2009 around 10 ways to recession proof your business. And uh, one of the ways to do that was to grow leaders faster than your competition. Now, I gotta tell you, I didn't really understand what that meant. Uh, grow leaders, uh, you know, uh, 2008, uh, whatever you call it, eight years ago, almost nine now. Um, I didn't really get it. I didn't really understand what it meant to grow leaders. But really what I've come to terms with when it comes to growing leaders is kind of two things. The first one is to grow them as people. So grow people in terms of self-confidence, self-esteem, um, and skill set within their, their own ability. And then second, um, to grow them uh, so that they have an outlook to serve others. And the idea of you know serving each other as team members, serving their friends, serving your clients, um, serving the community. So the question then becomes, well, how do you go about doing that? And uh, I mean, the, the long answer short and from my perspective is you got to put time into them and then the question after that is okay well, what kind of time do you put into them so first of all it's lots of time and then the second of all here's, here's a couple of uh, kind of tidbits we use at Intrigue to kind of structure that time to make sure that we're helping people grow their confidence as people so the first thing I'm going to talk about today is a roadmap and a roadmap is a meeting that happens every 90 days and it could seem pretty straightforward because you know a lot of people meet with you know their managers uh, but the difference with the roadmap is it's a conversation about goals and goals not only for the company but for the human. Crazy idea, right? So the idea though is you look at uh, different categories of goals in different timelines. So you look at three, six months, one year, long term, and we look at uh, corporate goals, like professional goals, entry goals in our perspective, uh, personal goals, health goals, financial goals, relationship goals, stop doing goals, books to read goals, travel goals, and people to meet goals. Now what's interesting about this is that as you have someone fill out this roadmap, you start to get a good sense of where they value things because different aspects of their life are gonna be more heavy loaded than others. Uh, we also use spiritual goals and that, that one can kind of get people uh, confused when they first start thinking about this. And by spiritual, we don't mean religious. So for example, under my spiritual goals, I meditate twice a week. Um, doesn't have anything to do with religion but it has something to do with you know me finding my center and so as we walk through this process with a, a, a team member every 90 days we start to see progress and then they we do it in an online environment and they get to turn the box green when they've accomplished a goal and it's amazing to see after a year or two how many goals have been accomplished and that really starts to grow confidence and so if you're looking for a way to manage Millennials and grow them to be leaders we'd recommend focusing on them as people and using these 90-day roadmap sessions. If you have any questions about roadmap sessions, um, what kind of format to use, 
uh, what kind of tools that you want to like document the progress on, feel free to leave a comment below, um, or you can reach out, um, connect with me on LinkedIn, uh, Robert Murray, Intrigue Media. And if you have any other questions or anything you want me to talk about, please leave in the comments below. All right, thanks guys, bye.